Exalted giving is an exploration of the nature of giving withholding nothing, giving for the joy of giving and for the truth of it. It is an expression of reverence and appreciation for those who have given to us from this noble place and for every time that we have done the same. Life can be very challenging at times, but when people give to us from friendship, kindness and generosity, their love makes all the difference. The exquisitely graceful lines of exalted giving flow, blend, and fold back into each other, reminiscent of the prayer that in giving we receive. Its infinite flow reaches outward, then returns back into its source, where it fills with joy and extends itself yet again. The heart of peace embodies and ennobles the story of the evolution of mankind. It makes visible and gives form and substance to the history of where we came from, how we drifted apart, and how we must reunite for the survival of our troubled world. We started at the base from a common core, sharing the same organic roots. Over the millennia, we branched out and grew in opposite directions, further and further apart. We divided ourselves by race, religion, and nationality. We established governments and borders we fenced and walled. We wanted what they had. We did not want to share what they needed. We exploited and destroyed. We took nature's bounty and gave back waste and pollution. Wars ensued and everything we built started to crumble. Is it too late now? Can mankind be saved from its greed and folly? There is only one way. We must reverse the trend of history. We must recognize our commonality of background and need. We must tear down the artificial barricades that have been erected. We must start the process of growing back together as one people united in peace harmony and solidarity. Only then will the world be safe for our children and our children's children. In my tribute sculpture, The Heart of Peace, I symbolically capture our common roots, our growing apart, and our rejoining together as one heart, one mind, one body, and one soul. I do not think of The Heart of Peace as an object. It is something that we have inside of us. It is a living, breathing, pulsating presence. Art breathes new life into the very soul of our souls. The great dream that I share with Klaus Nobel and so many others is that this symbol become a symbol of world unity shared around the globe. It will inspire people of all backgrounds to come together to fulfill our promise and realize our potential of love and peace for all. Inner strength can only be achieved by embracing the path of living dangerously, taking chances, making mistakes, exposing our fears and trusting that we'll be caught as we leap with faith towards a life that is meaningful and valuable to you. Inner strength is a love inside you that you can always depend on, love that you can trust, which guides you and supports you on your way. There is a feeling of power and confidence that is conveyed by this bold sword slashing through the air, cutting to the chase, revealing the truth for all to see. The eternal flame burned within your heart before you were born. It burns within your heart now, and it will burn forevermore. It is presence. It is silence. It is connection. It is the peace and life and light of God. It is the love that keeps love alive and makes it greater with every kindness that we extend to each other, to the earth and to ourselves. The eternal flame rises elegantly and powerfully, swirling and turning as though in slow motion as it reaches into heaven.
The agent of change is that part of us that deeply wants to make a difference in the world, to lift our lives in a way that inspires others to recognize their greatness and do wonderful things. It is the allowing of heaven to move through us unimpeded so that we can be of service and leave this world a better place because we lived. This sculpture embodies all of the elements of joy, openness, dance, movement, and ecstatic prayer. It invites the viewer to get up, reach out, and embrace all the fullness and richness of a life well lived. Sometimes life and its expression through art does not go the way that we want it to. But when we surrender to heaven's plan for happiness, everything comes together more magnificently than we could ever have imagined. We are always loved and supported by a power that sees things more clearly than we do and understands unequivocally what will make us truly happy. This sculpture looks beseechingly up towards the viewer, encouraging us to look deeper within our souls and to open a dialogue about how to achieve what is best for us our loved ones, and the world. No matter how deeply we love another, that love can always go deeper. This sculpture is my prayer for myself, my wife, my daughter, and every other human being on this planet. May we all know the goodness and grace of ever-deepening love. May our hearts be filled to their ever-expanding capacity, and our souls be overwhelmed with that deliciousness. This beautiful sculpture shows two figures drawn romantically towards each other that bow and bend and flow together as one to form an exquisite heart. Communion is sharing what is most intimate, thoughts and feelings we only dare expose to those we profoundly trust. And through that sharing, love flows and healing happens. It is the bringing of our innermost selves to the surface in a way that touches our soul and moves the spirit. This sculpture folds into itself multiple levels of thoughts and feelings, creating a dialogue between the intersecting planes, illustrating the dynamics of communion as we experience it in our hearts, minds, and souls. The open embrace is the most loving and comforting of gestures. Nothing feels as safe and secure as arms held wide open to you by a heart that knows you, loves you, and rejoices in your presence. Nothing feels as good as being held by arms that delight in the opportunity to hold you close. It is the way that we most love to be greeted, and it is the way that those who know us long to be greeted. It is the most fulfilling way to be with the whole world, caring, that radiates in all directions and gives great joy to you and everyone around you. Living in and living as the open embrace is the most delicious way to live your life. Kundalini is a term used in many spiritual practices like yoga to describe the indwelling cosmic or divine energy that is awakened through awareness and presence. This energy spirals blissfully from the base of our spine upwards through the body towards heaven. It is a purifying fire that opens the practitioner to divine union, beauty, and truth. Being in the presence of this sinuously unwinding sculptural spiral, you cannot help but feel that you are being inexorably drawn into it, embraced by it, as though it is taking you on a journey to a higher level of consciousness. Ecstatic union is the magic that makes life a glorious journey and a shimmering delight. When the truth of who we are reveals itself in the presence of another, we make real contact, deep and meaningful contact. In this union, we become filled to overflowing with a love and gratitude so complete that it can only be described as ecstatic. 
The two graceful figures reaching upwards that comprise this magnificent sculpture seem to dance towards each other sensually and seductively, savoring the deliciousness of attraction while drawing ever nearer to the exquisite moment of ecstatic union. Every one of us has an inner urge, a yearning to do and explore and create something. It is a pure passion that when we are involved in it, we are completely absorbed, enthralled, and lit up by it, inwardly and outwardly. Just as a wave explodes like fireworks when it hits the shore, so too there is a joy in you that explodes when you speak and share. And that is a glorious blessing to the world. Surrendered, completely out of control, yet loving every nuance of every moment. You make it safe for me to feel, safe for me to fly. This is so much more than skin touching skin. You touch my soul with your loving. All of heaven shines through your whispers and your kisses, your kindness and grace. It is here outside of time that I know how loving is the light that lights up this world. This painting depicts the wild ride aspect of love that requires trust and surrender as you open up to its light and heat. This love is bigger than life, bigger than I imagined I can stand as it fills me with its majesty and allays all the fears and doubts about myself that have held me back. This is the aspect of love that has you howling at the moon, swinging from chandeliers and singing praise to the heaven for being alive, loved and lovable. Inside all of us, there lives dreams and visions of the way that we would like the world to be for ourselves and for those we love. Feel their energy and you become immersed in their beauty and honesty. This painting reflects the nature of true intimacy as we allow the energy of our dreams to touch us, heal us, and change us. It invites us to explore the magic and mystery of our dreams calling by letting go and trusting the power that knows the way. This virtual explosion of brilliant color and line that is embodied in this exquisite painting that shines like the greatest stained glass windows in the most majestic cathedrals. Kai in Hawaiian means the spiritual ocean in which everything lives and thrives magically with healing powers. Mana means life force energy. It is the spiritual essence that makes all life possible. It is in fact life itself. Kaimana is the recognition of this powerful force of nature. Kaimana perfectly captures the raw power, emotion, aliveness, and vitality that comes through the energy of a wave. It is symbolic of the great divine or cosmic wave of power that wants to move through us, to live through us and to make us feel fully alive, fulfilled, and free. The lives most people live today are very busy, often racing to get from one place to another. Too often, in the midst of this busyness, we lose our center. We forget to breathe. We overlook the things, feelings, and experiences that make life meaningful rich and fulfilling. It takes time to connect with ourselves, with others, with the world, and with what we know to be spiritually fulfilling. This painting is about taking that time, creating the inner and outer spaciousness in order to allow our breathing to become deep and full, our cells to steep in, and our blood to be infused with love's beauty, goodness, and grace. And the blossoming of life, 
we are looking into infinity, manifested as a rose with an energy that reaches beyond its edges like a star. The rose is filled with sensuality and the curves of life. I oriented this painting so that the center of the rose was off to the side, making the infinite space the sensual nature of the universe the focal point, rather than the center of the rose. This is in recognition that the blossoming of life is far more than the blossoming of a flower. All of us have something in our lives that's blossoming if we just turn our attention towards it. The gentle overlapping curves of the rose petals remind one of looking into a microscope and seeing the basic genetic composition of all life forms. The DNA molecule reminding us of the interconnectedness of all life forms. The great calling wells up inside of you. It cannot be denied. It feels good and nothing else feels as good by comparison. It is bigger than you are, more than you have ever been. It fills you to overflowing, rising from the depths of your soul. It has weight and substance, yet leaves you feeling lighter than anything else you have ever known. This is your calling. This powerful painting of a crashing wave is exquisitely layered to show every drop, every ripple, every current flowing through it that glistens and moves as light passes over its luxurious textured surface is a way of recognizing the great calling that is wanting to move through you. Vitality is that vigorous energy that we feel in our minds, hearts, and bodies the moment we let go. When we surrender to all of the mind's constraints that are holding us back, and come to rest in our center. From this center, we're trusting. We trust because we see and feel that we are supported, innocent, loved, and lovable. In this center, we trust even when things don't seem to be going our way, only to be replaced by something more alive, more vital and true that will make itself known and take its place. Looking at the visceral quality of this passion infused painting, you can feel the life force flowing through it like the life giving blood that courses through our veins.